three, two, one. Here we go! What up, Misfits? It's welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ferlini. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are also new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's that red button. You know what it look like. Just hit the button. I haven't filmed a vlog in forever, so I'm doing a vlog today. Giving you a quick update on everything that's going on in my life. Oliver says hi. He's still here. Say hi, Ollie. <laughs> All right, uh, quick update. We got a blender. Yes, it's a ninja. Funny, when you become an adult, you get so happy about like things that you buy for your house. It's so funny because like, you're like, yes, I get something new, a new appliance. Like, yes, hardcore. Like, you get happy about stuff like that. Like, we bought new pots. And I was like, yes, oh, I can't wait to cook with these. And you're just like, it's kind of weird. Like, when you were little, you didn't care about shit like that. But <laughs> when you become an adult and it's your house, you're like, oh, I'm so amped. With this blender, I can make smoothies and I can make all this other stuff. So, also, it is Christmas time. Um, if you're wondering, why isn't our house decorated for Christmas? We don't decorate for Christmas. And my mom was giving me a whole bunch of shit about this because she's like, So as a joke to her and a, and a tribute, <laughs> I did this for her as a joke because I have such a great sense of humor. Made a snowflake out of paper, put it on my palm tree and put the lights on it. What? Nice thing. <laughs> and I just left it there because I thought it was hilarious. My mom didn't think so. Uh, I want to show you a new addition to the family. We have Lula. She is an avocado seed that I have been growing. Look how long she is. Guys, Lula is doing great. I made this out of a Coke bottle and then I took a juice cap and I cut a hole into it so I could put it in here. Because online, on Amazon, they were trying to sell that shit for like 15 bucks. I'm like, I could make this crap in my house. Part of our other de Christmas decorations, look at these pillowcases my sister gave us. Joy to the world. This one's hilarious. I don't know what she was trying to tell me with this. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I also got my Christmas gift early. Jeffrey and I decided to do our gift exchange way earlier, so we went out on, what was it, Saturday? We went out and swapped each other our credit cards, them, and then we just went and bought our own shit. Cause we're like, eh, we don't like dealing with all that crap. So you get exactly what you want. So I picked out, are you guys ready to see this? I don't know, Ollie, are they ready? Are they ready? So I got this amp, which is fucking amazing. It's it's so good, guys. It's so good. Like I got I gotta show it to you. <laughs> There's like no words. This guitar I already had, just in case. I don't know if you guys ever seen it before, but I don't know if I can play it right now. Jeffrey's on a phone call, so I can't really play it for you guys. So I'm just gonna be practicing. So I've been just doing this, practicing here. It's so beautiful. Like look at the details in this amp. like the most sexiest thing you've ever seen <laughs> like have a whole heavy metal concert out here and just have like a whole thing I think that's it I think I caught you guys up on everything I finished all my Christmas shopping already my family and I do secret Santa so we just buy one gift I've had this guitar let me tell you the back story to this guitar right this guitar, I have had this guitar probably like 15, 14 years old. It was actually the last gift my parents gave to me on Christmas together. Yeah, this was the last gift my parents gave me when I was 15 years old for Christmas. It came with this and it came with this like small little amp, which I have it right here. The amp sucks, that's why I had to get a new one. The guitar is okay, it works perfectly fine. But this was the last gift that my parents gave to me on Christmas when I was 15 years old. This guitar for 16 years of my life 
And there's been points in my life where people have tried to buy this guitar off me, like, and I can't give it up because it's like I have sentimental value towards this guitar because I've had it for so long. It's like I can't, I can't give it up, and it's my only electric guitar. I haven't gotten. I've been thinking about getting another electric guitar, but I'm like, mm. I know you're probably like looking at like Perlini. Why don't you cut this extra string here? I should, but I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I thought I'd tell you like the fun backstory to this. Crazy. All right, it's time to, for me to practice now because I haven't been practicing today. I just finished practicing. Now that I'm done practicing, I'm so tired. We'll see where the iPad leads us. Look who's out. We're trying a new recipe tonight. We're trying to make dinner. We're going to make pasta with chicharrón de pollo. <laughs> it's not chicharrón de pollo, it's technically breaded chicken. It's technically breaded chicken. Hope you guys liked our, uh, <laughs> our style of decorating. Yevry and I have come to the conclusions that we are going to decorate until we get our first home. That's why we don't put up decorations. I hope you guys already finished your Christmas shopping. Suddenly I went to the mall by mistake on Sunday. We ordered Chipotle. <laughs> and we order from the wrong spot. So we ended up ordering them from a mall that I'd never been to. So you can already imagine my anxiety going into the mall during Christmas with multiple people. And I'm like <gasps> trying to get my food. Then I show up to the Chipotle. The line was out the to door the to the food court. And the food tastes like shit. Let her know in the comments down below if you would love to see if you would have loved her to score that and see her going into the mall. <laughs> If you guys know me on a personal level, you would know that I hate going to the mall, especially during Christmas time. You want to know why? Because there's so much traffic, there's so many people in there. Two, because they play Christmas music. I used to work in the mall during the holidays, and they would play Christmas music non-stop to the point that I am, I am tired. I, I can't stand listening to Christmas music anymore because it ruined it. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me as much as Lee. I don't hate Christmas. I like Christmas. Christmas is nice. Lee loves Christmas more than me. She just hates the music. I just despise the music. It's too much for me. It's too jolly. <laughs> Yo, I saw this thing today. It was talking about how toilets. You saw that video oh, yes, I sent you on TikTok? It, yeah. Before you flush a toilet, make sure you close the top. Yeah, I saw this TikTok. It was disgusting. Basically, what happens is that when you flush the toilet, all the germs come up. Everything comes into the air. The poop, it, the poop particles onto people's toothbrushes. So they recommend that you close the top of the toilet before you flush it. So that doesn't happen. Like, I kind of had a sense about this happening. So I always bought, like, I have a toothbrush cover on my toothbrush. Yefer doesn't have one because I put one on there. Obviously, he doesn't use it. I don't know what happened to his. I don't know where it went. Mm hmm. So let's just say Yefer's been eating, you know uh, what, yeah. at this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Our bathroom's really big, so the toilet is not that close to the, his toothbrush. But other people, if you watching this, go get yourself a toothbrush cover. Yeah, I don't want to be eating, you know what. That's yeah, what random, random fact of the day. All right, we got Yeffrey cooking, chefing it up over here. Look at this. Mm. Flouring the chicken. This is the first time we've made it with this type of chicken. Normally we make it with a chicken breast. Yeah, we usually do like the regular chicken parm recipe. But Lee was like, oh, let's do it this way today. And see how it comes out. So I'm yeah, excited to try. So he's excited to try this recipe. So we'll see you guys when it's done. Jeffrey purchased this chess set for us back in September and we've been playing with it every single day since then. We remember how we used to play Monopoly all the time? And voila, beautiful. You wanna take a picture? Look guys, mmm. <laughs> so Jeffrey and I just finished playing and now he's gonna go play his game. His I don't know if you guys seen my one of my last few videos, the one that I threw the pen in the cup. After I did that video, my shoulder was hurting so bad for like two weeks. Like I was in so much pain. 
pain to the point that I had to get this heating pad put it on my shoulder because I couldn't like, even move this whole arm a few years ago I was in a car accident I have a rotated shoulder cuff so like anytime like I move this shoulder for too much or too long I start getting pain like I couldn't even lay down on this side of my arm because it was hurting so bad so I was laughing let me put it on so you guys can see. So like if you ever if you guys ever been to like physical therapy, this is what they put on you. So basically they put this thing on you that puts heat on it. So like you press this button and the heat comes out and you can control it. The other day my mom called me when I had this on and I had the camera like this, right? So she couldn't see like the bottom part. And my sister too, they couldn't see like the bottom part of what I had on. So they're like, what the fuck are you wearing? And I was like, oh, they thought I was wearing like a jacket or something. Like, look, like this, see? I don't know if you can see it. So I was like, this is how you look when you're in Zoom meetings, like my professional. <laughs> and then this is like when they see like the bottom with the wire, then you go from formal to like <laughs> busted. <laughs> But this shit, don't be sleeping on these, these uh, heat pad thingies. I used to laugh at her and be like, yo, buy this shit. <laughs> people in their fucking 30s, people my age are buying these things because we're in pain. We're <laughs> Guys, it is 9 o'clock at night. I get like this when it starts getting later in the evening. Most times people are like, oh, well, at this time I'm starting to wind down. I'm the complete opposite. At night time, I start getting lit. I start like, oh, oh. We better get like i don't know my brain just registers like oh we up we've been up for all these hours i don't know if it's because of sleep deprivation or just because i'm wired like that okay not sponsored but this shit you ever have like a neck pain a shoulder pain buy this shit put it on trust me life changing this is life changing stuff right here and like my mom and my sister were dying they were cracking up when they saw me wearing this shit they're like oh my god you are so ridiculous they put they came to my house they put that shit on and they were like yo this this feels so good like it makes you want to get mad like take a nap you get start getting really sleepy it's like a a heated blanket it's like so comforting since that day i just put it on occasionally like yesterday i put it on when i was watching tv and I was like falling asleep almost. Today, like I was watching Mean Girls because it was on Paramount, right? I don't know if you guys never seen that movie. Definitely go check it out and go watch it. If you haven't seen Mean Girls by now, like I don't know where you've been. You've been on there a rock. I was watching and I was freaking dying. Cancel culture will kill that movie. They they were literally if that movie came out and it was like just came out in the theaters, people would be disgusted with that movie. But it's hilarious, like. I find it hilarious like I feel like I don't know if you guys but let me know in the comments down below do you guys feel like they make movies as funny as they did before because I feel like they don't like I feel like it's so hard to find a good mo movie that's funny nowadays because like they're so scared of being canceled because everybody wants to cancel people now leave me a comment if you guys have seen any movies lately that are hilarious and that you definitely recommend because I'll definitely check it out remember how back in the day we used to have like super bad 50 year old virgin um Pineapple Express, Sex Drive, like all those movies, like they were so just so funny and they were like pointless and meaningless. But it just it just like it was hilarious. Oh, Just Friends. I love Just Friends. It's on Netflix. If you guys never seen that movie with Ryan Reynolds, go check that one out. That one's hilarious. Well, that's like my favorite Christmas movie because it's just it's so stupid. If you guys are looking for a good Christmas movie, the other day I saw, I think it was Love Hard. Go watch this on Netflix now. It's hilarious. Mina, you did a great job in that movie. I was dying. It's like Just Friends. If Just Friends was like redone in today's like era. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna try to do more vlogs this month. I, have, I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while, so I kind of miss like talking to you guys. Let me know what you guys wanna see on the channel. If you guys want me to make any certain type of content, let me know down in the comments, you already know. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We had our 106 people, fans. We had 106. It's crazy. I remember when we had like five people. Well, actually, I think I really had like 10 people at one time in a week, but whatever. Oh my God, my hair looking busted right now. Not like busted, like busted. <laughs>
you're here in the house, you're like, you barely put on clothes sometimes because you're just like, I'm at home, no one's gonna see me. Today I put on some clothes so I can be in front of the camera, in front of you guys, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me in my pajamas. Thank you guys so much again for all the love and support. Love you guys. Peace.